This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life, Jim Newton's boy, Joey. a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together, a great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him, Joey and Fury. Time than my watch. <laughs> eh, doggone you, Fury. You never forget, do you? Yeah, the boy. <laughs> now you listen to what I say. You hightail it to the school and bring Joey right home. And no visiting. you boys to drop by here after school to remind you that our annual junior rodeo is only two weeks away. Now, last year, our county team didn't do so well, though my son Ty here missed the championship by only a few points, and this year he's going to win it. Yay! That's the kind of spirit we want in our county team this year. So line up, boys, and get your entry blanks, and we'll show those upstate buckaroos what rough riding really looks like. Come on. Well, look who's here, the pride of the Broken Wheel Ranch. What event you entering, kid? There isn't any pie-eating contest. You're not the only rider around here, Ty Jones. I'm going out for the championship. The drugstore cowboy thinks he can ride a bucking horse. You've never even sat on one. But I don't know now I can learn. I got two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> Get him. You think it's that easy, huh? Well, I'd sure like to be around the first time a Bronx sunfish is with you. Come on, Buck, let's get a couple of malts. Don't mind what he says, Joey. Ty Jones thinks he's the greatest. Well, he is the best rider in the county. You can't take that away from him. I'm not even gonna try. No bucking horses for me. See you later. You know, Fury, all I need is some practice. And you're gonna help me. <laughs> Don't get rough now. Just jump around easy like until I learn to keep my balance. Okay, here we go. Attaboy, Fury. Attaboy, Fury, now jump higher. <laughs> Try again in a minute. Ah! 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 Ah!
cut out the smallest ones, but they're still plenty mean. Now give the school kids some good practice. Jim, Jim! I got my entry blade for the rodeo! Well, now, young fella, you know what you're getting yourself into? This rodeo riding's a pretty rough and tough business. I know, Jim, but if the rest of the kids can do it, so can I. Especially with you and Pete showing me how. Okay. You're asking for it. Pete and I'll do the best we can for you. Now you're talking. Whee! Ride him, cowboy! Pete, cut out two of those Bronx for Joey's training. Yes, sir. And I reckon I better mix up a couple of gallons of liniment. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy, loose and limber. That's the way, Joey. Keep that right arm out for balance. <laughs> that was a good ride, Joey. Nine seconds. Gosh, I never knew the ground could feel so hard. <laughs> well, it won't feel quite as hard when you learn to, to roll when you hit like a football player does. Gosh, that's going to take plenty of learning. <laughs> well, look, nobody's going to force you to do this. You can quit any time you want, you know. Who said anything about quitting? Well, I reckon you can take time out to eat. <laughs> so the main thing about bronc riding is this. When the horse is up at the top of the jump, where he's clear off the ground, then you got to outguess him, or he'll outguess you. I got it. you got to fool him if you can. That's right. Hey, any time you was in bed, cowboy? Oh, I guess you're right, Pete. Oh, say, Jim, how many bones we got anyway? <laughs> About 200, I guess. Well, the way I feel, there must be a lot more than that. <laughs> well, sing out when you're ready, and I'll rub some of that horse liniment into you before you go to bed. Okay, Pete. Good night, Joey. Good night, Jim. Jim, uh, don't you reckon you're letting the boy in for too much of a beating? Oh, I don't think so, Pete. Hard knocks won't hurt a boy like Joey. He's tough. He's got a lot of courage. Mm, no doubt about that. You know what? What? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to start him on a young steer. Steers before them wild broncs? Sure. Steers are harder to ride than broncs, but they're also closer to the ground. They'll jar you so much when you fall off. I think maybe you can, can learn to keep his balance a lot sooner. By golly, I think he got something, Jim. A week on the steers, and the broncs will seem easier. That's the only way in the time we've got to put him in the same class with Ty Jones. Oh, Ty. Hiya, Dad. Hold the watch on me, will you? Don't waste any more time on these jugheads. I got some real mean Bronx coming over from Broken Wheel Ranch. Oh, boy, now you're talking, Pop. I got news for you, Ty. You're wrong about Joey. He's so good, Newton has him riding steers already. Steers? Oh, you must be kidding, Dad. Well, that tenderfoot couldn't ride a rocking horse. Maybe you're the one being kidded. Newton tells me the boy's sticking nine and ten seconds on the toughest young steers he can find. So you better get busy. Or that Joey will be riding rings around you at the rodeo. Ten seconds on a steer. How do you figure it, Ty? Oh, forget it. Hey, we got some young steers down the pasture. Let's go ride a couple of them. Eleven seconds, Joey. That's the best yet. That's good enough for any company. Tomorrow we start with the bucking Bronx. You hear that, Fury? Well, Broken Wheel Ranch ought to win the cup for the most handsome entry, anyway. Uh -huh. 
That's not all we're gonna win, is it, Joey? I'm gonna try. Of course you will, Joey, and I'll be cheering for you, too. There's the bridge, Colt. Let's go. Get a load of Fancy Joe from Kokomo. Hiya, cowboy. Give me your autograph, will ya? Oh, you fellas are just jealous. I got the best horse in the state. Why shouldn't I show him off? <laughs> <laughs> Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Hard-riding kids from all over the state. Let's give them a great big hand. Now, folks, the first award of the day, a silver trophy for the best-looking horse and rider. Will Joey Newton please ride forward? There you are, folks, Joey Newton and his wild horse fury. Let's give him a great big hand. Okay, Joey, ride over to the judge's stand and get your trophy. Look what Gary won. Ah, <laughs> that's mighty pretty, Joey. But I think you had a little something to do with it, huh? You showed Fury like a real pro. I was proud of both of you, Joey. Well, at least it's something. You keep it for me. All right. We'll have it engraved. Time you got any working clothes, writing's about to begin. Now remember, Joey, don't stiffen up. Try them loose and limber. And long. Nice work, Jim. Glad to see the little fellow win something, even if you had to donate the cup. <laughs> you stick around, Charlie. You may have a little surprise coming. Back in the corral. You wouldn't have been too tough for my boy. Goody tie. Oh, they're all alike when you know how to ride them. We don't want any boys going to the hospital, Ty, even if they're foolish enough to ask for it. All right, that's enough for now, Pete. Okay. Let's get the show rolling. Jim Newton sure been keeping an eye out for you. He's afraid you might draw that bad bronc. Jim's looking out for all of us. He knows an outlaw horse and he sees one. Looks like he's trying to run the whole show for you. Yeah, framing up that cup just for riding Fury in the parade. What are you talking about? I suppose you didn't know. Jim Newton donated that cup and then fixed it up with the judges for you to win it. That's a lie. Oh, is it? Jim Newton knew you couldn't win anything else. He didn't want to let you go home without nothing. You take that back. Plenty to fight in that corral without tackling each other. Come on, Ty. I'll get you ready for your first ride. Okay, Lim. When you ride your first bronc, I'll help pick up the pieces. Yeah, now. All right, son. Get it off your chest. What was that ruckus about? Your, your attention, attention, please. please. Attention, attention, everybody. everybody. The, the first, first round of bucking, bucking horse riding, riding is, is about to start. start. This, this will, will be, be for the, the Intercounty Team, team Championship, championship, as well as individual points. points. The first, the first riders, riders will be, be from, from upstate.
all wrong, son. Sure, Jim donated that cup. All them trophies are donated. But you and Fury won it fair and square. I'll guarantee that. Ty said Jim doesn't think I can win anything else. Now, look here, Joey. Jim and me, we've done our best to crowd years of riding savvy in, in two weeks. Now, you can either try and cut the mustard, and we're pulling for you, or you can quit and go set on the fence. Now, that's country talk for it's up to you. Now I know what I gotta do. I'll ride that Ty Jones or else. That city talk will bust my fool neck. <laughs> completes the first round for all visiting contestants. And now, folks, get ready for your own homegrown buckaroo. The first rider will be last year's runner-up for the championship, Ty Jones of the Lazy J Ranch. Okay, turn him loose. seconds for Ty Jones. You gonna hand it to Ty? He's a writer. Yes, he is, Pete. I think Joey's gonna give him a contest. Next rider, Buck Wilson. <laughs> that was tough luck for Buck Wilson. Only three seconds. That puts him out of the contest. Joey Newton of Broken Wheel Ranch out of shoot three. All set, Joey. Turn him loose. mainly to the riding of Ty Jones and Joey Newton, our boys have won the Intercounty Trophy. Uh, just a minute, folks. The individual contest for state championship is a tie between Jones and Newton. After an intermission, these two contestants will ride off the tie. Meanwhile, the mounted drill team will give an exhibition. Come on, let's get some refreshments. Good idea, fine. Joy Newton shoot like I told you? Yep, shoot number three. And an ordinary cuss he is, too. 
There ain't nobody around here can ride that crazy jumping fool. Thanks, Lim. That championship ought to be in the bag now. Doing fine, Joey. Thank you, sir. So's Ty. Yeah, fine. Jim, let's take a little walk, huh? Well, sure. Your attention, folks. The ride-off for junior state champion is about to begin. But there's one change. By mutual consent, Joey Newton will ride the horse in shoot number one. And Ty Jones, the bronc in number three. Riders, take your places. Samantha, don't you like the switching horses? Why, sure. I guess it's okay. Then get in there and ride. Yes, sir. Ready for the first rider, Joey Newton, out of shoot number one. Okay, Joey. Loose and easy now. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. <laughs> seconds for Joey Newton, folks, and ridden to a standstill. What happened? Why the change in horses? I don't know. I think Dad got wise. Well, you're the rider. And a good rider always looks better on a bad horse. Go to it. Now, you watch him, because he's mean. Easy on him now. That's <laughs> boy. The outlaw, all right. You're quite a guy, Charlie. I only want what I've got a right to. Ty Jones' ride was only four seconds. Very tough luck for Jones. And Joey Newton wins the championship. Congratulations, Jim. Don't be too tough on the boy, Charlie. I think he's learned his lesson. You're right, Jim. I guess he's been punished enough. Speaking for the people of this county, we're proud of the showing our boys made here today. Yeah. And so, to my son, Ty, goes the runner-up cup. And to Joey Newton, the trophy emblematic of the champion junior rodeo rider of our state. I know you'd like to hear a word from the new champion. A boy who up to two weeks ago had never ridden a bucking horse. Tell us, Joy, how on earth did you do it? I guess it's because this big bronc jumped so high. I was afraid to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Look what we want, Fury. <laughs> 